God turned every killer into a giant white it rat. It wasn't for murder the gods cursed the rat cook, or for serving the king's son in a pie. He killed a guest beneath his roof. That's something the gods can't forgive. Hello, my sweet summer children. I'm back with some juice to get you through the long night. We need to talk about something. Something that has been bothering me ever since season 7. And that's a curse and how it could affect either Arya, Bran, or Sansa. Or maybe all three of them. And no, I'm not talking about Robert's touchy touchy death curse where if Robert touched you then you're gonna die curse. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something way more sacred. The breaking of guest right. In Westeros, there are hospitality laws, but no one holds these laws more sacred than the people of the North. Mance Raider tells John when they meet beyond the wall that he had snuck into Winterfell during Robert's visit. If you had been discovered, taken, your father would have had my head off, the king gave a shrug. Though once I had eaten at his board, I was protected by guest right. The laws of hospitality are as old as the first men and as sacred as the heart tree. The northerners hold these laws, these ancient sacred laws, higher than anyone in the story. One notable custom that the northmen hold dearer than any other is guest right. The tradition of hospitality by which a man may offer no harm to a guest beneath his roof, nor a guest to his host. The Andals held to something like it as well, but it looms less large in Southern minds. In his text, Justice and Injustice in the North, Judgments of Three Stark Lords, Maester Egbert notes that crimes in the North in which guest right was violated were rare, but were invariably treated as harshly as the direst of treasons. Only kinslaying is deemed as sinful as the violations of these laws of hospitality. Speaking of the old way, the Starks hold a lot of the old ways sacred. But do you understand why I had to kill him? Oh, where's the old way? The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword is another part of the Stark way, the old way, the way of the first men. There is also another custom about showing naked steel. So when Tyrion goes back to Winterfell in the books, Rob greets him with his sword unsheathed on his lap. This means Rob will not grant Tyrion guest right. In the show they cut that part out, but that's another one of those laws or customs. So Bran tells us the ancient legend of the rat cook and how he gave the king guest right and then killed his sons and served them in a pie. The old gods punished him for this. They turned him into a fat white rat and no matter how much he ate, he could never get full. Breaking guest right is something the old gods cannot forgive. When Gilly wants John to take her with them in a clash of kings, she tells John it wouldn't be breaking the laws of guest right because John did not sleep by Craster's fire or beneath Craster's roof, nor did John eat his food. The biggest case of breaking guest right happened at the Red Wedding. Rob slept beneath Walder Frey's roof and ate his bread, and Catelyn took him to do so to ensure his life. Rob, listen to me. Once you have eaten of his bread and salt, you have the guest right, and the laws of hospitality protect you beneath his roof. Rob looked more amused than afraid. I have an army to protect me, mother. I don't need to trust in bread and salt, but if it pleases Lord Walder to serve me stewed crow, smothered in maggots, I'll eat it and ask for a second bowl. Rob was right not to trust in salt and bread because Walter Frey killed him and his mother, and a lot of other people too. The men south of the Neck have little honor, little courage, and no appetite for laws of hospitality. The Grand Northern Conspiracy could have all been cooked up because Walter Frey broke guest right. But in true karma fashion, you reap what you sow. And Arya came through in season 6 and killed Walder Frey and cooked his sons and fed them to him in a pie. The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. <clears throat> this was a mirroring of the rat cook legend. 
And in season seven, she took it a step further and snuffed out House Frey's entire male line. No more male phrase to deal with. They were all ugly anyway. But anyway, breaking guess right has never failed to come back around on the one who broke it. Beyond the wall, Craster gave guess right to the Night's Watch. Guess right works both ways. Once you've eaten a man's food and slept beneath his roof, he can't harm you, but you can't harm him either. The legend of Jen fucking Ali didn't give two shits about guess right. Fucking wildling bastard. Craster fed them and let them sleep beneath his roof, and they killed him. The Lord Commander stood over Craster's corpse, dark with anger. The gods will curse us, he cried. There is no crime so foul as for a guest to bring murder into a man's hall. By all the laws of the hearth, we... There are no laws beyond the wall, old man, remember? But the old gods cannot forgive the breaking of guest right, and Carl Tanner and his band of outlaw brothers got their due. In the books, it went down a little different. It was actually Cold Hands and possibly Blood Raven that turned Carl Tanner and his friends into a feast for crows. You could also say that Lady Olena broke guess right when she poisoned Joffrey, and Olena paid for it. Her entire house was snuffed into the dirt or into the ashes. So Littlefinger was a guest in Winterfell. He had indeed slept under their roof and ate their food. So Littlefinger was protected by the laws of guess right. And Littlefinger was murdered. Don't get me wrong. Littlefinger did awful things to the Starks, and a man has his right to vengeance, but you cannot kill someone under your roof after you've given him guest right. And if we actually think about it, what's the point of having guest right laws if they don't apply to bad deeds that you've done in the past? There's no need to fear being killed unless you've done something to someone. It's the same as the Night's Watch vows. It's easy to stay on your post and keep your vows when you're not being tested. Oh, we all do our duty when there's no cost to it. Honor comes easy then. So it's easy to keep guest rights sacred when things are great. But when you have a killer in your hall, a man that has brought so much pain to your family, you cannot kill him if he has slept beneath your roof and eaten your food. They broke guest right. If guest right only applied to people you were friendly with anyway, guest right wouldn't exist. And you may be saying they had every right to kill him. Well, they did, but not beneath their roof. Now I take you back to season six. Davos outs Melisandre to John. Loved that girl like she was my own. She was good, she was kind, and you killed her! Davos wants to kill Melisandre. She's murdered Shireen. She's admitted to murdering Shireen. But John is the only Stark that acts like a damn Stark. He does not break guess right. He wants to kill Melisandre, but he can't because she's eaten his food and slept beneath his roof. He lets her leave, but he tells her, if you return to the North, I will have you hanged as a murderer. Right south today. If you return to the north, I'll have you hanged as a murderer. John has intentions on killing her, but he can't kill her when he's offered her guest right. John also passes the sentence and swings the sword. John holds the old ways sacred, but that was not the case with Littlefinger's execution. Guest right was broken, and on top of that, Sansa passed the sentence and didn't swing the sword. We've seen every time in the story that guest right has been broken, the one who broke it is cursed and dies soon after. So what does that mean for Arya, Sansa, and Bran? Will the old gods curse them? Does it apply to Arya because she committed the act? Does it apply to Bran because he found out the truth? Or does it apply to Sansa because she's the Lady of Winterfell, acting ruler, and she passed the sentence? 
One thing's for sure, guest right hasn't been broken yet without the old gods repaying the debt. So what do you think? Could Arya, Bran, and Sansa all be in danger? Did they break guest right in your opinion? And how would the curse affect season 8? I believe at least one of them out of the three will die. The question is, which one is guilty? As always, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone that supports me on Patreon. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and join the sweet summer family. Okay, my sweet summer children. Have a good day.